just wanted to uh, talk real quick about uh, groups and clubs. We, we definitely have groups on Facebook and that is a good place to get started on meeting people. But um, to really advance uh, relationships with people uh, in your area, a club is, um, is really the best place to do that. And if you don't have a club in your area, you can always start your own. You, you don't need to start with, you know, 20, 30 people. You can always start with just one other person with the same interest as you, and you can meet at your home uh, or at, you know, some coffee shop somewhere uh, or even have breakfast at a, a place that serves breakfast or, you know, whatever, just in a public place or, or at your home. It would be to the, uh, you know, to your discretion. Obviously, if you start growing more than, you know, two, three, four people in your group, you're not going to, I would assume, not want to have, you know, a bunch of people coming to your home. Um, so, you know, a, a public place that would fit, uh, you know, a number of people it is, uh, is the direction that you would want to go in. Now, I belong to the Central Ohio Fly Fishers here in, in Central Ohio, obviously, hence the name. Um, and I used, I was a member with... Uh, COF, and that's the uh, acronym, it's C-O-F-F, -F, it's Central Ohio Fly Fishers. I was a member back in the uh, late 70s and early 80s, and then I kind of fell away from, from it because of, you know, work and that sort of thing. But for guys that are really getting started in fly fishing and for those that want to, you know, maintain relationships with other guys that, uh, you know, have, have uh, you know, like-minded ideals of, uh, of, the, of fishing, in your area, and, and what I mean by that is that, you know, in our, our area here in Central Ohio, we don't have any, uh, well, at least not many, uh, cold water fisheries. The, the closest one is the Mad River, and it, you know, even from Columbus, it's close to an hour away. Where I live down in Southern Ohio, it's, you know, two and a half, three hours away, um, which, which is okay, but, um, you know, my main focus is warm water fishing for smallmouth bass, carp. Um, my new thing is the uh, wipers. It's a hybrid, uh, a hybrid white bass, uh, striper bass, and man, those things hit like freight trains, and they're a lot of fun. So if you want to meet people, um, the best place to do it uh, is at a place where you see and talk face to face. Uh, the, the Facebook thing is okay to get started, um, but there's nothing like actually meeting people, you know, at a location or even out out on the water somewhere. So I want to real quick uh, show you some footage of, um, of a uh, meeting that I recently attended and uh, let you hear from a couple of the members and one of the guys is the uh, president of, of COF and just let you see um, what it is that, that we do there. Uh, we have speakers. Last speaker came in was from the uh, Ohio Department of Natural Resources and we talked about a fishery up in northwest Ohio. It was very interesting. Um, got a lot of guys excited. Here it is mid midwinter and people are already, you know, thinking about hitting the waters real quick. Now, I don't want to ramble on too long, so let's take a look at some of that footage. Hey, this is Mike. We're at the uh, Central Ohio Fly Fishers uh, meeting. They have it once a month here in Columbus, Columbus, Ohio. And I'm with Don Dean, correct? Yeah. And uh, Don's been a member. I'm not sure. Why don't you go ahead and let everybody know how long you've been a member with Paul and uh, why, why you still stick around. Okay, well, I was uh, in the original Paul's group of, uh, back in the mid-70s. Uh, Get together with other fly fishermen. I could talk about fishing, tell lies, and uh, yeah, it's about the camaraderie. Yeah. There's a lot of good information that they put out here. They have a drawing. I mean, uh, the, the clubs, local clubs, are really something to, to sign up for. What you say to be able to uh, meet other people. Oh yeah, I think if you're a fly fisherman, this is uh, one of the clubs you certainly want to belong to. Especially in Central Ohio. Yes, Central Ohio. They've got others around, but the Central Ohio, this is definitely, this is actually, I think, it's the only one, isn't it? It's the only fly fishing club in Central Ohio. Right. Okay, well, thanks, Don. Thanks for your time. All right. All right. With John Horn, he's the president of the Central Ohio Fly Fishers, and I think he might be able to give us a little insight as to why a club is, an organization, organizational club, is really a good place to be to, to, uh, to find people and build that camaraderie and fly fishing in your area. Yeah, it's a it's a, a core. There's a core group of folks here who are, are very very knowledgeable in the sport. And whether you're you know you've been around fly fishing for 20 years or for for one year, uh, there's definitely a lot of knowledge to be gained here. And of course we've got 
a lot of structure built into what we do with right. fly tyings or outings or coming to the meeting um, and maybe some new and upcoming educational programming things that will yeah, give everybody what they want. We, we help out with the uh, healing waters, uh, that sort of thing. Um, and then we've got a, uh, a fishing event at the fairgrounds. And we're going, you, you say we have a booth there and some guys can sign up and do some, just show off their, their uh, flying fishing, their tying talents. That's right. We'll be at the Columbus Fishing Expo here in about a month on February 10th and 12th. And uh, we'll be doing some tying there. Hopefully do a little casting time and great time. Uh, we really like to focus on youth at that event. So right. We'll have okay. some, some kids at the table and hopefully tying up their first flies and get them started in the sport. Okay. Well, thanks for your time, John. Hey, appreciate it, Mike. Yeah. I'm with Jim Pontius. He's a new member of the uh, Central High Fly Fishers. And I'm just kind of wondering uh, what brought you to our club and uh, what are you expecting to get out of it? Well, I've only been fly fishing since April. But okay. The the renowned reputation of cough drew me in, actually, uh, some buddies of mine, high pressure, you know. Yeah, yeah, I Come in that. and said I would have a lot of fun, and tonight was my first meeting, and it was outstanding. So. Yeah, they do a really good job. Really here. looking forward to yeah, learning I, more about the sport. and I think he, this is a good place to build the camaraderie. You can meet some people. You can hit out, go out there and hit the water with, you know, like-minded people and have, some, have a lot of fun. And the education part is the most yeah. important part, especially at my level, is just picking things up and starting to be able to learn right. more and more because there's so much to learn. So right. That's, uh, that's right. all the reason I'm here. All right, good deal. Thanks a lot. Well, there you have it. It was a lot of fun. Sorry about the uh, background noise. I'm going to be working on that. I do have a, a special microphone that hooks up to my phone, and that's the way I shot that video was with my, um, was with my smartphone. Uh, but I'm going to work on the sound a little bit. It, it may not get really that much better because there is a lot of uh, activity in the area. I suppose the only way that I could really get away from it is to move into another room or outside in the hallway or that or that sort of thing. But anyway, that's uh, that's my thought on clubs. Um, if you really want to, if you're new and you really want to learn, locating a local club is, uh, is the way to go. If you don't have one in your area, again, it's really not that hard to get one started. Just find somebody in your area that has, you know, the same type of an interest in the type of fishing that you do. Um, and then just go at it, let it build from there. This is Mike, until the next video, we'll catch you later.